What's up everybody, Roderick here with this double wall thermal coffee pot. Let's take a look at it. All right, so here we go. It comes in a nice simple box, all white, no branding whatsoever. Let's open this thing up and look at that. Ooh, yeah. Oh, nice. It feels nice and solid already. We got that and we also have a little user manual. Let's see. It keeps stuff hot and cold for a long period of time, up to 24 hours and you're still good to go. The whole body of this thing is made with stainless steel and you can read more about everything right here if you want to. Basic stuff, start to the side and open this thing up. I'm excited. Ooh, yes. Okay, nice and shiny. Look at that stainless steel. Looks pretty stainless. Okay, anyways, look at that. It looks good. It has the nice little branding right here. And it is solid. Nice. Okay, you hear that echo. That's how you know it's metal. We have this little switch here, which once pressed, it'll open up the floodgate so you can pour a nice drink for yourself. Let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. All right, nice. As you can see, this really plugs it up so it won't be spilling. It has a nice little rubber ring right here to protect it from leaks. And then... Mmm, nice smell inside. You can smell that new new and look inside all metal in there. And this is a thick double walled, it's a double walled container. That's exactly how we like it. So all you have to do, pour your hot or cold liquids in here, put this on top easily like this. Just twist it on, mm -hmm, get it nice and airtight and dispense. Oh, so simple. This thing is rated to keep beverages cold for up to 24 hours and hot for up to 12 hours. It holds 64 ounces of liquid. That is a lot. It has a BPA free detachable lid. It's made of 18 and 8 food grade stainless steel. It's a perfect dispenser for hot coffee, hot tea, milk, juice, water, hot and cold. Pretty much any beverage that you want. Maybe even some nice cold lemonade on a hot day. It's airtight and leak proof. That way nothing is going to be leaking out. So now you know what we got to do. We got to put it to the test. All right, so as you guys can see, we do have some hot liquids in here. I just bought up some water. You still see the steam come out of here. Wow, it feels so hot. All right, so let's see the exact temperature we are working with. We're looking at about 170 degrees. We're going to put this lid on. Get it all completely sealed, try not to burn myself. <laughs> Boom. Right now we have it sealed, we're gonna wait 24 hours, come back and see how it is, and no, the outside doesn't feel hot at all. Great. All right, you guys, we are back. It's been about 24 hours, and last time we were here, this was 170 degrees inside. It's pretty hot. I wonder how hot it is now. We're gonna find out. And we'll also see how well this works at dispensing the liquid. So as you can see, no leaks. We're good to go right here. And now the moment of truth. I got my mug. Let's suspend some. Just like that. It works perfectly fine. And how hot is it? Whoa, it's actually still pretty hot. Let's see how hot it is exactly. We are looking at about 110 degrees Fahrenheit right now in the cup. Let's see how hot it is inside. It looks like 118 degrees on the inside. So it only lost about 50 degrees. It is still hot. It's actually, it actually feels like the perfect drinking temperature. Ow, it's still kind of a little hot though. I mean, 110 degrees is still hot. So, 24 hours later, this would still be some good coffee. So if you guys wanna pick one of these up, the link's down below in the description. I think this is a great thing. Always have some coffee ready. You can make it the day before and have it ready the next morning. Like, it seems like a no-brainer, really. If you're a coffee addict, you don't have to make it in the morning. Boom, it's already here. So remember, link's down below in the description. Make sure you guys tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the red subscribe button for more. Make sure you guys follow me on social media. And until next time, it's been Roger. Come out. I will catch y'all later.